Hey guys, Mike Smith here with Killer Motorsports. I'm going to show you today just a quick uh, ATV demonstration video on how to ride these things. It's just basic, basic tips on how to begin to ride. You know, if it's your first ATV, there, there's always you know that question of, well, how do I ride it? What's the stance? You know, how, you know, how much gas do I need to give it? You know, can I do a wheelie? I mean, what, how much power do I have to have to give a wheelie? You know, you're, a lot of a lot of people are concerned, I mean, like I say, the wheelie thing, it's, it's a question everybody always asks us, does it have enough power I can do a wheelie, or is it going to have too much power that my kid's going to do a wheelie and hurt themselves? So, you know, I'm going to kind of go through all this with you, give you some basic tips and training. Obviously, you know, me being a professional, I mean, I can, you know, give classes and so forth. This is not, this video is not that. This video is simply just going to give you suggestions on how to ride. You always want to go take an actual class. If you're in Dallas, Fort Worth, we can probably help you out and give you lessons and so forth but you know don't take this video to the bank definitely you want to go take an actual you know, certified course you can go to atvsafety.com and, and take courses that way um, if you're like say DFW area we can help you out that way um, but this will just be a great intro on okay I got my ATV here's what you do now in terms of riding uh, first thing you want to do is always put a helmet on I never ride without a helmet never have and you know never will be without one Try to pull it down a little bit so you can hear me. Uh, first thing I'm going to tell you about riding ATV is, I mean, starting procedure, you should know how to do that by now by watching some of our other videos. Once you have it riding, people are going to say, well, well, how, where do I sit on the ATV? Well, the first thing I'm going to do is you want to get a good, comfortable center, you know, uh, sitting position on the ATV right here. You don't want to be too far back like this. You don't want to be too far forward like this. And you don't want to be to the side either. It's all about the weight distribution. You want to have a good center of gravity on these things. Um, <clears throat> what I'm going to show you first is how to actually turn on these things. You do a right turn, you do a left turn. You're coming into the right right here. A lot of people will stay centered or they'll be like right over here. Okay, that's not how you turn. You're going this way. You're actually going to come into the turn right here. you got a lot of power coming out like this. And the more weight you put this way, it's going to make the ATV want to flip over like that. And I'll show you how that's actually done and why it's bad. Um, so when you come, come in a turn, you want to shift your weight this way. That way, if for whatever reason you give it too much power, the rear end can slide without actually flipping the ATV over. So I'll go ahead and do some quick turns, show you the proper way to do it. And then I'm going to show you the improper way to do it and why, you know, what can happen if you don't lean the right, you know, way in a turn and whatnot. As you can see, that's how you actually lean into it. When you turn this way, you lean in this way. When you turn this way, you lean in this way. I'll go ahead and show you what can happen whenever you, you do it the other way. Obviously, you can see that when I go the other way, all of a sudden the ATV starts going up on me like that. You know, I didn't have a flip over all the way, but what can happen is if you flip over this way, you land right here, ATV lands on top of you. Now you've got a problem. So definitely make sure you're leaning properly when you get on these ATVs. And I've actually done it that you know that way before, and I've had stuff land on top of me, and you know handlebars hit me right here before, and it hurts and it gets ugly. So make sure you lean the right way. Next thing we're going to show you how to do is how to actually lean on the ATV when you're going up a hill and when you're going down a hill. When you go up a hill, going straight up it, you want to lean forward. You've got all the all the weight on the front here. If you're going up the hill and you're right here, the ATV is going to want to flip back on you. If you're going down a hill, you want to lean back. Have all the weight on the back side, not on the front. If you're going down a hill and you hit your front brake, it's going to activate these two brakes right here. Now you're flipping forward. I've done that before too, and it's not fun. So um, we're going to go ahead and ride over to a, a hill so I can show you how that's done. All right, guys, I'm going to go up this real quick and show you the best way to actually ride up. Um, like I say, you want to have your weight forward on this. When you go down, you want to have your weight backwards on this.
the, the next thing we talk about is a lot of people call us in, well, you know, if I'm just going to press the gas, is it going to do a wheelie on my kid? You know, a lot of people say, well, hey, can this do a wheelie? The simple answer is yes, all these can do wheelies. It just depends on where your weight is, you know, if you have a clutch, you know, how are you using that clutch? Um, you know, if you put a, a big guy on a, on a really small wheelbase ATV and have him on the, the very back of the ATV and just give it gas, well, all the weight's on the back tire, so of course it's going to do wheelie. But there's things you can do to prevent that, which is uh, most of the ATVs that we sell, like the smaller ones, have speed controls right here on the actual throttle. You can check out my other videos about the, the speed throttle and how to adjust those. But, you know, if you have your weight position, which is going to be centered about where I'm at right now, as long as you're not just giving it full gas and you're not, um, you know, your, your weight's not on the very very, you're actually going to be pretty. Um, when you have a 300 like this, it's got more power, the chances of you popping wheelies is going to be a lot higher because the simple fact is you have more power and you have, you know, a clutch here. And the clutch is basically your power control for the actual ATV. You can press the gas, you know, full in all you want, but if this clutch is in, it's not going anywhere. If you have a clutch out, it's you know full power. So you just understand when you when you get an ATV and it has a clutch, this is what that does. It controls how much power this throttle is letting this ATV you know move forward. So I'll show you just some you know quick acceleration tips on you know okay you want to accelerate really fast. This is the proper way to do it. You always want to have a center stance here. If you're planning on you know uh, and you know racing or riding or you just want to go really fast all of a sudden. You always want to be forward on the ATV. You always see those motocross riders being a little forward here. Well, the reason they're doing that is because if they were back here and they're going to go and they're going to pop that clutch and they're going to go, well, the motorcycle's doing this. They're on the front of it right here because when that thing gets enough power, it's going to try to lift off the ground kind of like a takeoff and they're holding it down in the front. So if you really want to accelerate, you got to be forward just like this here. That's how you're going to accelerate properly if you're going really fast. If you're just going really slow, it doesn't matter what, I mean, you can be sitting here if you're just going really slow because the AT's not going to You always want to start out in the center position either way, um, typically when you're riding. You're just going to be up here whenever you're going really fast and you just want to, whether it's show off to your friends or, you know, whatever. If you're accelerating fast, you've got to be up just like this, okay? In terms of the wheelies, um, I can show you that this thing can do wheelie. A lot of people say, well, can it? Can it do it? Then, well, I'll show you that it can. thing does have some power so we'll do some wheelies and uh, if you have any questions or any parts you feel free to give us a call.